Well, another installment out here at a pond with got Tom and Momo with me today. Sorry about the glare. I'll put the sun in my face. We're trying this little pond back here. Um, Max, Tom's son, actually caught a really decent fish out of here. I think it was yesterday. It was five pounds, four ounces. I'll go ahead and show you the pictures now. Now that you saw those pictures, those are nice. I can't complain. I, I, I haven't caught anything that big this year yet. So hopefully, I'm not promising anything. Hopefully we'll be able to get on some and we're going to enjoy the beautiful weather because it's been really cold lately. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna give it a shot, see what happens. Stay tuned. Well, let's try the crank for a few. Blow it out there. Yeah, because it looks like I can see where it gets deeper. And like that side is definitely shallow. So just more out that way. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Melmo. Oh, you know what? I remembered his pack. I got his box, I stuck it in here. I got that retuned. So I'm gonna go give that to him real quick. Since I have it. Ha ha. While I'm thinking about it, mm. I remembered. Ooh. Oh, wow, look, you have it in the special case. But did you drop I just okay. dropped a weight, yeah. Oh, no. It's all right, it's right here. Found it. I heard where it hit. Okay. Oh, wow, these are amazing. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Use them. Oh, oh, I will. Catch as many as you can on. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank <laughs> You're you welcome. So much. Like I said, I've been sitting on those and I've, I've had them hanging up and sitting ready for you. Yeah, just, you know, things around the holidays got busy and then we've had some other stuff come up and it's mm -hmm. just like, ah, I would, you could count probably 10 times I told her, I gotta call Tom. I gotta call Tom. I got this stuff for him. I gotta call him. And I remembered I was out messing with some stuff because I bought her a new rod and uh, I was retooling and re-gearing and stuff today. And I looked right at it. It was like, you know what? Nah, we're gonna stick that in the bag now. Awesome. So, yeah, please enjoy. Max wants to use them. He's more than welcome to, as always. Thank you. I'll send some fish pics when I catch them. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, we're going to see if they're biting anything. Oh, goodness. Let's see if I tuned this right. Ha-ha. Oh. Look. How did I don't you know. Do that? I just noticed it. When I was pulling, oh. it's not unlocked. I mean, it's not locked. That's right. When I was getting that goo off of it, the slime, I noticed it then. I didn't know if you could pull it out or not. Yeah, I can bend it. But I don't know what you hit to do that. It had to have been the last time. Or... Yeah, it was one of the other times. It may have been when we thought it got hung on something and it didn't. Yeah, it should be okay now. It'll hold. It'll just let you grab it. <laughs> that way I don't get hooked.
Oh yeah, that's running so much better now. <laughs> I got it tuned. I got it tuned. It's what you call when the bait's not running straight and you have to tune it. So instead of it going off to the side, it's now running straight. Sure it wasn't a week. I caught weeds. Man, those weeds. We're gonna go fish the concrete. Over at that corner. So I felt some rocks, like maybe, I don't know, 20 or 30 yards out. There may be some like, you know, fallout from where those rocks go. There's gonna be yeah. some rocks if you're on the bottom. Works for me. Structure. Something. Yeah. Well, and that concrete retains heat, so. It does, yeah. Thinking they might be in that corner or that one. Yeah. Because the sun's been hitting that side way more today. The big one we got was over there. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense because they're probably coming up out of the deep. Uh, I'm going to cast here a few times. If you want to. Here, I was going to say, do you want me to hold the rods? You sure? Just be careful. All right. Okay, we are going to do something slightly different. Melon rid drag and drop, but instead of putting it on a drop shot. I'm actually going to Texas rig this thing. This is actually a six inch three aught hook, so should be plenty strong. Look at that. That's gonna dangle. And it smells good. Holy moly. What just happened here? <laughs> Woo, that was a backlash. Can't remember the last time I had one this bad. It's been a while. Actually. Just year or so ago I hit Melmo on the back of the head I might have to adjust my settings a little bit this brand new line too I just pulled this up with 14 pound Yozuri fluorocarbon I think that's how you say it Yozuri I don't know one more I think I got it okay now that I got that out quarter of my spool but now I can actually work this back in Let's see I'll show you why I like this track and drop if you can see it see it's got a lot of whip on that tail when it comes up so I'm looking better here this is when you whoop, it's got a nice good hop to it Yeah, that's probably a little loose. Tighten that up just a little bit. That should be better. Oh, that sun. Sorry, I know you guys are facing right into it too. I can try doing this, but then you can't see what I'm doing. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing either, so. I don't feel too bad. That's twice not as bad somehow the drag got turned way down too which I'm not sure how that happened it's still backlashing maybe I filled it up too much but I've never had that problem before I can tell you I'm getting tired of backlashing
dragon drop. That thing is pretty heavy. I didn't realize it was that heavy. Oh my god. I don't know how I just got so lucky. Look how I just grabbed that. Talk about luck. Not a single hook in my hand. Let's not do that again. Push you in. Do what? Uh-uh. That water's cold. I ain't coming in after you. You fall in, you're on your own. <laughs> she knows I'd come in and after her. I joke, but I'm not that mean. So that was smooth. Go backlash. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. See, if I just stand here and stare at her, she thinks something's wrong. I'm soaking my bait. Maybe. No, they're in the other one. The it's in one of the blue ones. Probably that middle one, but nope, that's all mine, so it's gotta be that third one. How did you twist them up already? I mean you Oh my god. I don't know what's wrong with this line, but it's like, I can't freaking cast it. I backlash like every time. Yeah. Oh my God. How deep is this going? What, what do you think you're doing? I was free rigging. I think I got a nipple. That's it. That's that's her new rod. It's the Shimano. It is Shimano GLF. It's medium, seven foot. Should give her plenty of reach. Very similar to my SLX. Very similar. It is pretty smooth. I do like it. It's got just enough flex. Not too much though. I mean. Depends on how you want the bait to run. If you want it to run towards the surface, which I don't think is a good idea right now, then you keep your rod tip up and you reel a little bit faster. But if you want it to stay towards the bottom, then rod tip kind of mid and a medium retrieve. So probably no higher than about here. Okay. Low takes it deep, higher. The lower that you have your rod, the lower the bait will go. Except, yeah. I lost it in the sun. Come on, fish. Just a one bite, please. Well, the saucy swimmer is not doing any good either. Have you tried not casting in the same spot? That was just a horrible cast. Say you don't want to steal my spot. You know you always steal my spots. Quackers! See? Quack, 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 quack. Quackers! Sorry about all the road noise. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Quacker, quacker. My PSA for this is going to be, yes, you can probably figure out where I'm fishing from the video, but I want to make it clear that everybody understands this is not exactly public fishing, okay? That sign right there, that one, that sign keeps us from making it public. This is an HOA controlled pond. So 
you're not supposed to fish it i can't tell you to stay out because you are your own person you're going to do what you want to do but i can tell you that you have to have permission to fish here or you have to be with a resident that's all i'm gonna say back to the not catching anything why'd you scare all the fish away melmo you what what'd you say so i couldn't catch them well that's awfully sweet of you you see what i gotta deal with people I'm not buying you a pony just so I can catch fish. It's not happening. I'm also not buying a dog or a cow or a goat or a lamb or a chicken. Not until we get the house. If we get the house built different, but not this house. This house is going to be an animal free zone pretty soon, which means that Owie and Kylie are going to have to go bye bye because they're not going to be allowed to stay. I told you they're not kids. They're animals. We had this conversation. You wonder why? You should be nice to me anyways. I bring you fish in, I buy you stuff. Why wouldn't I, like, why wouldn't you be nice to me? Cause what? No, you're not. Always not. When I tell you no, you can't have a a puppy or a baby cow or a baby goat or a baby chicken or a baby duck or anything that starts with baby you might actually be reeling that too slow She hasn't caught on yet. I'm casting in the same area that she is. Oh, I just scared one off. There's not one around here, so ha ha ha. do. I no, don't. And if you do, it's a small one. You shouldn't threaten people when I have a camera on. All I said is flat on. Yeah, yeah, and that and that means what? No, it's not that dark out here. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, you're gonna need a flashlight. You don't come. You ready? I said, are you ready? I mean, you can keep fishing. I'm just, no. my hands hurt. My hands are cold. We haven't caught squat. I've, it's funny, he, I was starting to walk up here. He was like, it's really shallow over here, but there's a little dip in this corner and there's one in that one too. And the bass like to hang out in there. And I was like, it's way too cold. And it's like, literally, like, look how deep it is right here. So I start walking over. I was like, eh, I'll just hop over and I'll just go stand next to Tom and talk to him for a minute. I walk right over here and there's two about like that, just sitting up in there. I'm like, are you kidding me? Did you throw them? No, they swam off. Let's see if we'll spook his bass off too. Yep, two of them just swam off right there. See them? No, you can see the waves though. Oh, I can see the waves. I just couldn't That's, the yeah. Hey, fish a fish. Turn about five feet of water. How's that look? <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Does it's, it run good? It, yeah, it collects weeds just great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I like all they the do. Tonight, I didn't catch it. I didn't I think I got a nick. So. Well, you're not the only one, so don't feel too bad. Don't beat Ethan yourself up. Switched to weedless and still managed to get. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, we didn't catch anything. Tom blanked, I blanked, and of course Melmo blanked. But we all know why, she admitted it. She was trying to scare the fish away so nobody could catch him. Her fault. We didn't catch any fish, because Melmo is a big meanie head. That's, you heard me, she's a big meanie head. <coughs> no, 
We we just had a little bit of availability. Tom hit me up and asked if I wanted to go fish for just a little bit with him. It's right around the corner from my house anyway, so I agreed. We had a good time, even though it was a little cooler than I expected, but either way, it's all about getting out and having fun. And it was fun. It would have been more fun if we were catching instead of catching slime but either way we had a good time so i hope you guys enjoyed sorry gotta switch hands hold on there we go hope you guys enjoyed this video um don't forget to of course subscribe Whee! like um yeah comment if you have something you want to say to me or questions or not say to me or call me a goofball or tell me that I don't know how to fish because sometimes I wonder but anyways we got some stuff coming up hopefully pretty soon so stay tuned and remember as always you gotta keep catching